I'm Tabang, I'm from Soweto. I'm born and raised in Johannesburg, Soweto. Uh, I'm 21 years old. My current passions um, are focusing on creating content, you know, um, entertaining content, lifestyle content as well. I hope to show you guys the two different sides of my life where you'll find all of that stuff on my YouTube channel. I look out for some news. I know that it just started. I know that um, I have a platform from you know the house it's just up to me how i use that platform i know that i'm only 21 so it allows me the comfortability to try out a lot of things but being the type of person that i am it also allows me a lot of time to kind of zone in and focus on the things that i am passionate about and hopefully by the time i in my 30s i guess then you know i'll be very very successful as an entertainer or someone in the entertainment industry my mom was more than happy, you know, she was in tears when she saw me um, for the first time. Uh, so she was ecstatic to see me, more than that actually. But she's been nothing but supportive, she's tried to help me out. Um, but I've also kind of missed my mom, so I've kind of told her to just not focus on um, my life outside of Big Brother and just focus on me, you know, being my mom. I think my personality, uh, more than anything, got me as far as it did. I think the person I am, and I didn't know it was entertaining, but a lot of people say they were entertained when I was on the screen, so. But it was just a joke in the house, it wasn't really that deep. I don't think it influenced any relationship. Yeah, friends. I think I'm friends with everyone, uh, to my knowledge. Uh, if we're not really classified as friends, we're cordial, you know. Um, a lot of us haven't really gotten a chance to speak because, yeah, we're all busy and stuff. So, yeah, I think when we do, it's all love at the end of the day. Uh, we all come from the same house and are on the similar paths, if not the same journey. So it's all love, you know, and support from my side and hopefully from their side as well, man. I don't really have beef with anyone, so I'm okay. Uh, what Nigerian foods have I tried? Uh, I had fried yam, uh, uh, fried rice, I had jollof, I don't remember. But the place that they took us to had a lot of food and I was trying to go there yesterday to get um, fufu and goat meat. But they said I needed a soup, so with pepper soup. And then tomorrow in the mainland, I'm hoping that I can find some amala and ewedu. Um, I haven't had Ghanaian jollof, so I can't really comment on it. But I'm, I think Nigerian jollof is the best jollof I've had so far. Currently, who's my favorite Afrobeat artist? Um, Burner Boy. So Burner Boy has always been my favorite, still my favorite. Don't see that changing anytime soon. What's my immediate focus right now? Um, I don't intend on going back to being a sports data analyst in the way I was, maybe on TV as a broadcaster, but not in the coding side, but I do intend to um, fully like learn how to code properly, learn different coding languages. Um, I have a few ideas that are, a, that are stopped or impeded by my lack of knowledge in coding. Because there's something about my personality that I feel like was misrepresented or misunderstood generally. People say I come off as rude. Uh, I understand why I'm very, very blunt, but that's like, I don't know how to say things and be straightforward at the same time being nice. So I just say them the way I can, but yeah, cause I can beat around the bush, but sometimes I never really get to the point. Yeah, I hear it, but yeah, I try find a way in the middle of it, but yeah, I don't know how to say things straightforward and be nice at the same time. So I struggle with that. How did I navigate uh, living with people from different backgrounds and culture? It was pretty simple once I realized that we have a lot in common and that's the thing that I should you know, focus on. So focusing on our common traits and what we share in common, our likes, our interests, our experiences in life, um, after paying attention to that, you realize that, wow, this guy's actually pretty cool. We lived a similar life. Um, although we're from different parts of the world, we had similar experiences and, you know, we can relate to that. So I think once you find a way to relate, then things become much easier. Relationships form with people. So you're able to form really, really good friendships. So that's how I was able to, I think, live in the house with uh, people from different backgrounds and different places um, that are not like mine. Uh, how was I able to stay true to myself in the midst of so many cameras? My audition tape, I shot it like a thousand times. Um, the last take I took was just the, uh, okay, look, if I'm not going to perfect this, I'm going to do it one take and I'm just going to be myself. And I was like, if I get in, that's what I'm going to stick to. There's no reason for me to try to act like someone I'm not. What does entertainment mean to me? For me, it's a place where I didn't really know how I'd fit in, 
but it's something that I, that looked like something I would enjoy. Um, with the comments that I've he- heard in general um, live on while I was on the show, it's something that I've seen that you know people are interested in me, people are interested in getting to know me, people are interested in my daily life, and I'm interested in producing content in that way. Um, I think meeting that market and you know giving out you know content as to things that i enjoy because i think i'm different i'm a different person and different uh, so seeing me alone um i could show you what i'm doing on a daily basis what i'm doing um throughout my day but seeing me with my friends you kind of see me be silly you see me be lighthearted. you see me be mad be serious because they were the people who are going to bring out the emotion in me so um entertainment is that i guess um for me entertainment is giving people something that is relatable um giving people something that can make them feel better um something that makes them laugh you know makes them smile makes them angry even at some time so i think that is entertainment i don't think i'm angry when the conversation about relationships pops up it's just a conversation i'm kind of um i've grown tired of explaining over and over but uh, would i go with the notion that people that go into a reality show are living a fake life i think on a reality show you get two different types of people um some might be living a fake life and i think time tells if they are and some are true to themselves. What's next for me is focusing on the fundamentals of creating content and being an, um, an entertainer and being in the entertainment industry. So, which is establishing myself by creating my own content and curating that content in a way that I see fits onto my step because I'm confident in what I'm wearing, you know? Um, so it's just a, a little thing that just adds on to your day, you know, just to make sure that If you feel good, you look good, then you will be good. So it's one of those small things that compound on what you do throughout your day. Would you expect me to have a career in fashion? With my brand, yes, of course, um, I will be entering that that realm of fashion. Um, But I'm also looking to get into modeling in terms of um, modeling, commercial modeling though. Uh, If there are offers that come in for runway modeling, then yes, definitely I will be taking them up. But right now, modeling is my focus in terms of fashion. I should describe my own personal style. My own personal style is uh, free, um, comfortable, uh, stylish, you know, um, streetwear. But on a good night, I can clean up and put a suit on. Um, I'm a very, I have a very, very broad sense of style, but majority on a daily basis, you'd catch me wearing something in the streetwear category. At a formal event, you'd see me wearing a suit. Um, on a hot day, you'd see me wearing a jalabia, of course, um, or something like that, you know. Um, but majority of the time, you'll probably see me wearing something in the street. Guys, Tabang lovers, tea bangers, T21 everyone who supports me um i thank you so much for being behind me you guys have stuck through me through thick and thin in and out the house you know your energy has not wavered um yeah i see the love every single day um it's what keeps me going so i love you guys so much and thank you so much for supporting me find me on socials at tabang k m a z i on all platforms tiktok you might find me as tabang mazibugo thank you guys so much for being on this journey with me i love you so much Thank you so much for having me. This is Tabang Mazibugo. Keep watching Turn Urban TV.